श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव The student and the teacher's dialogue was going on yesterday. Well, it is said. Now I know Brahmananda because you only told me, but I don't find myself fulfilled in life. Why there is so less light today? So <clears throat> the teacher says, "You have only heard, but have you understood the meaning of it?" Yes, it is something like somebody said. A person who knows four Vedas will be given uh, Bharat Bharat Ratna. So one dumb fellow comes. All dumb people get Bharat Ratna. One dumb person comes and says, "I know there are four Vedas. Now give me." So you are only talking the words without understanding the meaning. Therefore, what is to be understood is that you have to Shabda Neva Patasya Ho Tisham Arthancha Pashasi. You are only reading the words. Have you understood anything? And therefore, arthe vyakarna buddhihe sakshat karaha avashishyate. So, by the strength of the language, you have understood the language meaning, but the experience you have not got so far. And therefore, syat kruta tatvadhir yavat tavat guru upasvabho. So, till you are up to this point, so you are left with no doubts. Till then, you have to go to Satsang to Premburi and sleep. Up to here, we have seen yesterday. Now the teacher says, "Asta me tar yatra yatra sukham syad vishayir vina tatra sarvatra vidyetam Brahma nanda sevasanam." Now enough of this discussion. Now understand. Yatra sukham syad vishayhi vina. Wherever the experience is without the involvement of the objective things, that means objectless happiness. Then tatra sarvatra vidhyetam brahma nanda sevasanam. Then it is the lingering experience of the divine bliss. Therefore, now this statement we have to practice and see whether we really have that in us or not. How to do that? Only analyze your experiences. This point I told you million times. We have to analyze our experiences and learn. For example, when we get something, we are happy. That is Vishayananda. When we give something to somebody, then we become more happy. So the happiness of renunciation is more than the happiness of indulgence. So when we give away the things to somebody out of love, compassion, whatever way, then what happens? There is tremendous, <coughs> tremendous peace within, and that peaceful mind is then becoming introvert. And in that introvert mind, the Brahmananda is reflected, and this is how this experience is Brahmananda sya vasana. So it is the lingering bliss that we had in the deep sleep. Now, Vishayeshu api labdeshu tadi icha icha uparame sati antar mukha. Manovrutu Ananda Pradivimbati. Similarly, Visheshu Api Labdeshu. Whatever we wanted, if we get it, then what happens? Tat Icha Uparamaisati. Then our desire is fulfilled. So what is the meaning of fulfillment of the desire? Antar Mukhi Mano Vruttau. Then the mind becomes introvert. 
is a very simple thing to understand. I told you the other day. When I am extrovert, suppose this is the thought in the mind. When the thought is extrovert, whatever is outside, that will be reflected. But when the thought becomes introvert, the world cannot be reflected in the introvert thought. But then, like the mirror, mirror has the ability to reflect something, whichever comes, Pratibhimba will be there. In the same manner, thought is like a mirror. Whatever comes in front of it, it will reflect. So when the mind is extrovert, the world is reflected. When the mind is introvert, now what is inside? The divine bliss. Uncreated bliss. And in that, the reflection of the divine bliss is caught by this introvert thought. So, antar mukha mano vruttu anandaha pratibhimbati. Now, continuing further, the teacher says, Brahmanando vasanacha pratibhimba ititrayam antarena jagat jasmin anando nasti kinchana. So, in this world, there is no fourth happiness. There are only three happinesses. One is Brahmananda, second is Vasanananda, and the third is Pratibhimba, see, Vishayananda. In this particular point, we become extremely subtle in understanding and comprehension. See what happens. We imagine we are seeing the world. But the truth is, we are not seeing the world. Then the world gets reflected through the lens of the eye as an image on the retina. And that image is illumined by the mind. See? Otherwise, such a huge mountain and when we take a picture in our phone, has the phone entered the mountain? Uh, has the mountain entered the phone? No. It's only the image. An image will not have any weight. Is it not? Now if you are 100, 100 images are on my mind, on my retina, and if you are 1000, will it make any burden on my eyes? So what is the truth? The truth is, we are all experiencing only images, it's not the actual objects. But then we imagine that these images are real. See friends, therefore, Brahmanando vasana cha pratibhimma ititrayam antarena jagati asmin anando nasti kenchana. There is no other type of happiness other than three. Now, Tathache Vishayanandu Vasanananda Ityamum Anandu Janay Naste Brahmananda Swayam Prava. Now, out of these three happinesses, Vishayananda and Vasanananda. Now, if we understood clearly what is Vasananda and Vishayananda, Vasanananda is the lingering blissful experience after we come out of the deep sleep and this lingering experience remains only for a few moments, that is the Vasanananda. Mind is carrying the fragrance of bliss when coming out of the deep sleep. Vasanananda. Then what is the Vishayananda? Vishayananda is whenever we have a desire, desire is fulfillment, that means we our mind is no more extrovert, it has become introvert. And therefore, in that introvert mind, the reflection of the bliss happens and we imagine that the happiness is coming from the object, but actually happiness is coming from within us. Therefore, these two, they are uh, Anandu Janayan Aste. So these two happinesses are created under a set of conditions. If you have no sleep, you can never have the experience of Vasanananda. 
any fiha, no desire. You cannot have the experience of the Vishayananda. But the third thing is Brahmananda Swayam Brahma. But for experience of the Brahmananda, we don't require the time after the sleep and we don't require any desire to be fulfilled. Therefore, Swayam Brahma, it is self established. This is complete as regards meditation, contemplation is uh, concerned. Bhagavad Gita talks about three types of happinesses also. Sattvic, Ranasic, Tamasic. Sattvic happiness is um, Abhyasad Ramate Yatra Dukhantam Chanigachati. That's Sukam Sattvikam Proktam. Whenever you do things regularly on a methodical, systematic way, you feel happy. See, I have been going for a walk since last 42 years. People look at me and fix their watch. Happiness out of repeating something. See? Second happiness is the um, realistic happiness. What is realistic happiness? It is Vishayendriya Sayyoga Yat Agre Amrutopamam Parinami Vishamiva while eating garam garam mirchi pakoda chaat and from every hole liquids are coming out mirchi order majara parinami result is vishamiva oh god too much of pain in my stomach mirchi khao but while enjoying aha it's so good. There is Ranasik Ananda. Tamasik Ananda, we are all expert. Nidra Lasse Pramadottam. Laziness. Sleepy. Those people who are lazy and sleepy, nobody can help them in this world. A person who cannot leave his bed early in the morning before the sun rises in the next life, that person is designed to be born as a bed bug. So next time you see any bed bug, Mama, Papa, I am coming. Lazy fellows. They are good for nothing. And the worst part is, lazy people are not even feeling bad about it. Nay, I am like that only. Manufacturer's defect. See, friends. So here, the Brahmananda is like what? Without any efforts, without any uh, object, without any reason, you are at peace with yourself. See? That is the Brahmananda. Now, Swayam Prabha. Shruti Yukti Anubhuti Bhya. So, Prakasya Chidatpake, Brahma, Nande, Subti, Kale, Siddhi, Sati, Annyada, Shruno. Now, so far we have seen the Brahmananda on the strength of Shruti, Yukti, Anubhuti. On the strength of the scriptural authority, Yukti, the logical uh, conclusions and Anubhuti, our own experience, we have come to this conclusion. So, Prakasya Chidatpake, Brahma, Nande. The Brahmananda is self-illumined and it is a conscious bliss. It is not the happiness of the deep sleep. Brahmananda, Supti Kale, at the time of deep sleep, Siddhe, Sati, Anyada, Chunu. Now let us think it from other point of view. Yaha Ananda Maya Suptau, Sa Vidyana Mayatatmatam, Gatva Sapnam Pravodham Vapraptu Tisthana Vedata. Now we go next time, deeper and deeper. Yaha Ananda Maya Suptau. In the deep sleep, the experience is in the Ananda Maya Kosha. Then, Sa Vidyana Mayatam Gatva. Then, from the deep sleep, Ananda Maya Kosha, the first eruption is Vidyana Maya Kosha, the sense of I. Next time you get up from your sleep, see exactly what happens. 
first thing we do what is the time the moment time space and i is born samsara has begun so vidyana maya kosha there is no time there is no space there is no i therefore happiness the first thing is eruption of this vidyana maya kosha uh, vidyana maya tam gatva then sapnam prabodham va prapnoti sthanam edata then if this vidyana maya kosha he is identified with the modifications of the mind then from the deep sleep the jiva comes out and start seeing the dreams he is no more in deep sleep he is not even awake but then the dream starts coming up all kinds of things friends this is the time we waste our complete energy it is something like we charge our phone overnight and in the morning we start something and go to sleep now that phone is running continuously and will oh god i will let me check oh, oh my god phone is drained fully naturally it was wasting all the whole energy exactly the same way all the energy that we have gathered in the deep sleep by connecting with the divine anandamaya kosha then after coming out of the deep sleep we continue to toss on the bed without getting out of the bed that is the time maximum wastage of our energy happens just to make it easy to comprehend i just give some uh, understanding calculations don't take it too seriously 8 hours of physical activity energy consumption is equal to 1 hour of intense speech energy consumption 8 hours of intense speech and talking energy consumption is equal to 15 minutes of unwanted thinking how much energy we waste hey friends and we have done nothing simply in english it is called as wool gathering we gather so much of wool that we can have a carpet factory therefore get out of the sleep and immediately out of the bed what have nothing to do then start running go somewhere start walking do some exercise wash clothes clean the house don't keep on in the bed beyond limits see friends but you will see what is the prosperity our bed is always there ha aaja khulao those who are old like me they will know the we used to roll the bed and keep it in a corner in the room beds were never 24 hours open see therefore according to our identification this vidnara maya kosha gets identified with the mind and start dreaming or gets identified with the body grass body and start becoming a waker now see understand three points ananda maya kosha it is undifferentiated limited uh, time bound experience then there is the eruption of vidnara maya kosha like a sprout coming out of it now that sprout of vidnara maya kosha gets identified with the modifications of the mind dream begins for the dreamer then the same vidnara maya kosha the jiva gets identified with the gross body the waker is born and the waking world comes up so sapnam prabodham va prapnoti sthanam edata now after this thing has happened now where is the jiva seated so the location of the jiva is in three places it is said here netre jagaranam kanthe sapna suptir hrudam mujhe apadamastakam deham vyapya jagarti chetana 
So in the waking experience, we are seated in our right eye. The right eye means identified with the sense organs. And in the Sapna Kanthe, the, in the dream, we are located in our throat. That is the Vishuddha Chakra. And then in the Supti Rudam Buje, and then in the deep sleep, we are seated in our heart. So these are the three places. Now see what happens. When we are seated in the sense organs, the world enters the mind through the gateways of the sense organs. Experiences begin. In case of the dream, there is no need of the worldly objects. The mind becomes the experiencer, the mind becomes the experience objects and the mind becomes the uh, instrument of experience. So the same mind is divided into the object, subject and the experience of the object or to the subject. In Anandamaya Gosha, all these divisions are zero. So the more we get divided, the more we are lost in this samsara. So, apadamastakam deham vyapya jagarti chetanaha. Now this jiva is now, who is a conscious thought, is now apadamastakam, right from the toe up to the top of our head is completely permeated. Now, deha tadatmya apanna taptaya pindavatnada aham manushya itti vam nishchitthe avatishthate. Now, deha tadatmya apanna. Now, this is another important point. Like, there is no option. Anything comes in front of the mirror, there has to be reflection. In the same manner, Vidyanamaya Kosha, along with the Chidabhasa, when he is manifested in the mind fully, it will have body identification. You cannot stop it. Then what is to be done? Only understand, this is not real. Understanding of the illusion as an illusion is the only way to get out of illusion. You cannot remove the illusions. See? The blue sky, the blue color, can we remove it? We know it is illusion. Then what is our interaction with the blue color of the sky? Although we say it's blue color or blue sky, but we know it is not. And therefore, we don't have any project for changing the color of the sky. Similarly, the mirage waters. We understand it is mirage waters, therefore we enjoy, but we don't desire. But the animals don't understand that this is an illusion, it is not real. Therefore, the animals, the deer, they run after the mirage waters and collapse. See, third example I give you. We stand in front of the mirror and the bird also stands in front of the mirror. What is our interaction and what is the interaction of the bird? But we start fighting with the object in the mirror. Now that bird decided, now I have to do sadhana. So yoga, dana, dharma, charity, religious, doing the yajna, doing the havana, om gurbu swata Oh, keep on chanting, oh no, show, no, show, no, show, no, show. Nothing can remove the reflection from the mirror for one reason. It doesn't exist. How can you remove it? Exactly the same way. All the relations, mother, father, brother, sister, husband, wife, disciple, guru, every relation is only appearance doesn't exist. When my wife died, what happened to the husband? Nothing happened because 
He never existed. Think. But who was becoming miserable throughout life? Husband. The more we become aware of this phenomena, you don't have to struggle for your spiritual practice. So, Dehata Adatmya Mahapanna, and how it is Tapta Yepindavattata. Like when iron, now this is a very good example. You take an iron ball, put it in the hot, uh, in a fire for an hour or so. Then it will be as red as hot, as the uh, fire. Then take it out by your hand. You will understand this. Now what is happening? Fire is red. Iron is black. But when the iron ball is put in the fire, the color of the fire is transferred to the iron. Now fire doesn't have weight. But the iron has a weight. Therefore, the weight of the iron is transferred to the fire. And then what is born? A hot iron ball. This is called as a transfer of mutual qualities. Exactly the same way. See? This um, enlivened jiva getting identified with the body then what happens? Then body's attributes become my attributes and my attribute becomes body's attributes. So what is my attribute? I am eternal. What is the body's attribute? Temporary. Therefore, I keep on imagining, I don't want to die, I don't want to die. <coughs> Why you don't want to die? Because you are never experienced death. In this manner, aham manushya ittevam. Now the entity is born. I am man, I am woman, I am young, I am old. Now this entity as somebody, iti evam nishchati avadishtade. And thereafter we start living only as a body. Friends, nobody says, I am body. Nobody says. But we all act. Only on the basis of that. In Hindi, I will never say, Me jate. I will say, Mai ja raha hu. Not Mai ja rahi hu. Why? Because I am a man. So nobody say that I am a man or I am a woman. But our language clearly tells. That first I accepted myself to be a man, then thereafter I say that I am a my jar hahu ya jar hiyo. Therefore, this body identification happens and nishchitya, and we are so convinced about it. Thereafter, what happens? We are living as the body, we are living for the body, we are living on everybody. So what is the sadhana now? Only this much. Let us start functioning, not as the body, but start functioning through the body. Then what will happen? Body will become our instrument and we will become the master. But our condition is, we are becoming, we are living as the body, then the body has become the master. And the body says, no, I don't think I can go. Who are you to do? Walk means walk. See, friends, unless you become strict with your body, the body will take us for a ride. So, evam nishchitya tishtati avatishtati. Then, after the identification has happened with the body, then there are three types of expressions possible. First, Udasinaha, Sukhi, Dukhi, Iti, Avasthatraya, Metyasau. Now the Jiva having identified with the body, he has three types of experiences. Udasina, 
indifferent, then sukhi happy and dukhi uh, miserable. Sukha dukhe karma kare. If you have done good job, you will always have the experience of happiness. Now this is another important principle. Karma phala. The result of karma is only true. Punyasya phalam sukham. Papasya phalam dukham. Achievement, prosperity, success in the life is not a karma phala. Karma phala is only this two. Otherwise you can see in a very rich family also you get two types of people happy as well as miserable. In the poor people also you get two types happy or miserable. So prosperity, achievement, success in the outer world is not the result of your karma phala. Then it is purusharta. How you are able to interact in a given situation. See, one person started uh, some hotel and he failed utterly. Then what such person will do? Bhagwan ka saath nahi. Bhagwan is not going to come in your hotel to serve. Now in the same place, another person started only hotel, but he is minting money. What is the reason? Reason is, one person started a Chinese or a Japanese food um, court in a Vaishnav locality. And then blame, oh God. The other person, he knew, these are all the cows, give them only grass. Jain Khana, you will get a lot of people. Therefore, the prarabdha or the karma phala is only twofold, joy and happiness. And the third one is uh, sukha dukhe karma kare auda sinyantu svabhavataha and to remain indifferent is not the result of karma. Meaning, miseries have come, but you refuse to get identified with the miseries. You are not miserable. The joy or happiness comes. You don't get so much intoxicated that you get you lose the balance. There are three stages of our minds. What should be done and what should not be done during these three stages. When you are extremely happy, never promise anything to anybody. Because that time you have already lost the balance and you will do something which is not good. Example, Dasharaj Ji Maharaj. He was happy when Kaikeyi helped him and then he, okay, you asked me the boons. And she, she was ready. So she said, I'll ask the right time. And then she asked, now my son should become the king, Ram should go to the forest. Why this happened? Because Dasharatha did not know. When he was happy, he said, okay, ask for the moon. Never do that. Second thing, when you are angry, do not discuss anything with anybody. And third, when you are confused, don't take any decisions. So here the teacher gives this technique. Then, auda sinyam tu swabhavataha. By nature, we are indifferent. Like, by nature, I am telling you. I like yellow color, I like green color. Who is telling this? I. But how are you seeing the colors? Through the eyes. Are the eyes having any liking or disliking for any color? So find out. Is this liking and disliking, has it any meaning? What is the logic behind it? Somebody likes green, somebody likes red. No logic, no reason. And therefore, avdasinya, 
remaining indifferent is our natural state and we should practice this again and again in our life. Don't get involved in anything or anybody. Bhaiya Bhogan Manu Rajan Sukha Dukkhet Vidhamate Sukha Dukkhantara Leshut Bhavet Tushtim Avasiti Ho Avasiti Bhaiya Bhogan and Manu Rajan Sukha Dukkhet Vidhamate from the external uh, ex joyful experiences and Mano Raja because of our mental imagination and habit of imagining and projection, Sukha Dukhe, joy and sorrows are of two types. Or uh, these are the two experiences. We get experiences outer as well as inside. Outer experiences are when we come in contact with the worldly things and beings. Inner experiences are generated by us because of some kind of memory comes up and we become depressed. See? Now the teacher says, Sukha Dukkha Antaraleshu Tushtim Avasthiti. But if you remain between these two, joy has come and gone, misery has come and gone, you have not participated between, um, in these two. What remains is Tushtim Bhava you start learning to remain indifferent. To remain indifferent, there is one very simple technique. The technique is, we don't have to opine, advise, give our comment, suggestion, our experiences in that field, anytime, anywhere, unless asked for. But we being Indians, we are experts in everybody else's job except ours. And then we have suggestions for everybody. I think you should do this thing. Did anybody ask you, no, why do you tell? Don't get involved unnecessarily. Kim Pramashetra. All interactions in the world begin with the words. And words express at two levels. Gross level, Vaikhari, and subtle level, Madhyama. You must have seen sometime, see, he has never said like that. Yeah, I told you, no, you never told. This is how our habit of commenting, getting involved, destroys us. So, Sukha Dukhantara Aleshu Bhavet Tushnim Avastiti. Therefore, things come and go. We have no comments to offer. We get unnecessarily involved in this world. This world has always been like this. One person came to meet me and he said, Swamiji, so, what is your opinion about the Maharashtra politics? I said, I have to think, I have never any opinion about uh, imaginations. Is there any truth in that? That we waste our time and energy and prime time? See, all those people who are listening to the prime time watch, they are the wrecks of the society. They have nothing to do. Lazy. And then they keep on generating unwanted thoughts and de remain disturbed. Then, Nakapi chinta me asya sukhamasa iti bruvam auda sinne nijananda bhanam vaktya kilojana. And when you are in udasina, indifferent then, Nakapi chinta me asti. I have no problem. And then, sukhamasa. I am happy. Two things. Now, if we have to practice this, we start practicing. If somebody does a mistake and ask you, how are you? Ah, sit, I'll tell you. Don't have to tell the truth. Anybody asks us, how are you? Fire. I am on the top of the world. But then our words should carry the meaning. How are you? Ah, on the top of the world, badly. <laughs> Rama. You start practicing happiness. 
We don't have to be happy. Practice. Slowly it will happen. Those who are depressed, dejected, frustrated, lazy, they have only practiced it. All the depressed people, they have practiced depression. In the same manner, you have to practice happiness. Then how to practice happiness? It is something like this. But if when I am miserable, how can I practice happiness? Okay. Should you jump into the water without knowing how to swim? No, no. How can you jump? You will die. Okay. Can you learn swimming without jumping into the water? No. How can you learn? Then what to do? Write a thesis on swimming and get a PhD and get drowned one day. Then what is to be done? Jump into the water, although you don't know swimming, with somebody who knows the swimming. And that is satsanga. Never be in the company of the frustrated people. The moment you start smelling it, some dumb fellow is there, go to bathroom. That is the holy place. He friends, never be in the company of the depressed, dejected people. You will also start getting. You must have seen, there are some um, houses, families, there is one person in that family who is always complaining, frustrated. Otherwise, that person is okay. The moment, evening time, all the people who have gone for the work, they come home and then, Kya ho gaya, dadi ma? Kya ho na, beta? Jinda hai bas. The whole house atmosphere is destroyed. See? Such people, you ask them, uh, how are you? Jinda hai. Maroon appear. See, friends, those who refuse to live happily, nobody can help them. And those who are committed to live happily, nobody can make them miserable. Because it is a freedom given to us. Miseries can be attributed to somebody or something. But we are all miserable by our choice. Choose to be happy. See? Therefore, na kwapi jinta miyasti adya sukham asa iti bruvan auda sinni nija bhana nija ananda bhanam vakti akhilo janaha. Therefore, one is aware of this bliss when you are indifferent. What is your opinion about, uh, you know, the uh, tsunami? Kya opinion? Aage chali ki, what can I do? I have not created it. Relax. But we will, I don't know, we should do something. If you can, do it. If you cannot, relax. Don't destroy the peace of your mind. One day, I was going probably in Bombay towards uh, Andheri with some very rich man sitting on the back seat to two of us and the driver was driving and uh, somewhere on the red light crossing people come for begging and all that so one man came and he talked please give you 10 rupees so my friend elderly man he said Swamiji these people are useless. They don't work. So I kept quiet. We should tell them. I said, okay, tell them. Then he said, okay. And he down the window and said, you are so healthy, strong. Why don't you work? Begging. Charam ni aati. He was very cool. He said, Bhavali, you try to bake for the whole day and see how much money you get. How hard it is. Everybody like you comes and gives Upadesh. Nobody gives money. So one day I will do your job. One day you do my job. And then you see how hard it is to bake. When he started talking, he made a See, See, mu laga hai. Now what came in my mind? 
who is Mulaga? You or he? If you have to give, give. If you don't have to, don't give. But don't spoil the beauty of your mind. See, if a naturally it comes to give something, give something. Over. Don't linger in the same disturbance in your mind. Therefore, aham asmiti ahankaraha samanya chadita tvadaha nijanando namukyo yam kittu asu tasya vasana. Now, when we are indifferent, then what it is? It is aham asmiti ahankaraha samanya achita tvadaha. In all the three experiences, sukha, dukha and audasindyam. Being happy, being miserable and being indifferent. All these three are not the Brahmananda. Because there is Aham, I. I am miserable. I am happy. I am indifferent. See? About this, I am indifferent, I tell you. On one of the Shivratris, I had finished my bath in the um, Prayagraj. And we were coming, it was heavily raining. And then uh, we had to go to some hotel for tea or coffee. When we went there, that person helped me because of the rain. She brought the umbrella and took things. So I told him, hey, thank you so much. Today you are my guest. Join with me for lunch. He said, Swami, this is my hotel. So then I joined with you. And then he said, I am your fan. I am always happy. I don't know. Many times when I talk something, I don't know why I talk. But it, it happens. I said, you are happy, it's very good. But how about the people at home? Your wife, your children? Swamiji, why did you ask me that? I said, I am sorry, I withdraw. No, they are very miserable. See? I said, your condition is like the Brombe prosperity. A big multi storied <coughs> building with 8 crore, 20 crores per 2 BHK, 3 BHK, and all around slums. And then we are happy. When you come out of the building, when you go to the building, you have to go through all Narak. Inside, I am happy. In the same manner, I am happy, I have nothing to do, I am indifferent. But because of you are this type of behavior, are you spreading happiness around you? Or you are being sarcastic and miserable? Therefore, all the three experiences, becoming happy, becoming miserable, or becoming indifferent, these fall in the purview of the ego and nothing else. Therefore, aham smiti ahankaraha samanya achaditvataha nijanando namukhoyam. This is not the real bliss. Then, kintu asautasya vasana. So, this is the vasana of the Brahmananda. Because when we are out of the deep sleep, for some moments, we are indifferent to everything. So the indifference is also the lingering bliss. And therefore, it is not the real Brahmananda, it is only the Vasanananda. Now, this is explained through an example. <coughs> Nirapurita Bhandasya Bahi shaityam na tajjalam kintu niraguna sthena nirasattanu miyate. If you take a pot and fill it with cold water, and when you touch that pot, you are not touching the water. But the coldness can be felt because inside it's a cold water. In the same manner, here the teacher says, kintu niraguna sthena nirasattanu miyate. So we uh, infer there must be cold water in this particular pot. Therefore the pot is cold. 
or if it's a hot water and then you touch it, oh God, there must be hot water inside. So you infer from the effect. Similarly, yavad yavad ahankaraha vismruto abhyasa yogataha tavat tavat sukshma drishtehe nijanando anumiyate. So be attentive. Being indifferent is nijananda bhana. You are only aware that whenever I am indifferent, I am happy. Now, next step. Yavad yavad ahankara vismrutaha abhyasa yogata. To the extent we delete that I am indifferent, I don't get disturbed, I am never miserable. To that extent we remove this I, 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 abhyasa yogata by the practice, then tavat tavat sukshma drushtehe. Then we become subtler and subtler in understanding our own experience, then nijanando anumiyate. Then we come to discover that being indifferent, <coughs> where do we get the happiness from? We get the happiness from within, not from outside. Otherwise somebody is miserable and fallen and you simply keep on chewing the pan and say, I am indifferent. No, that is not the meaning. Therefore, when we are living in this world, but do not get influenced by the world. If somebody needs the help, we do help. But there is no I born. The factor is the I. Yavad yavad ahankara vispruta. Till such time, this I, I is holding us, we are far away from the truth. And when we attend to, when goodness happens through us, like the fragrance is never given by the flower. <coughs> fragrance happens to come out of the flower without the arrogance. I am indifferent. Somebody may take the fragrance, somebody no, 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 no. He is not even aware of its own fragrance. In the same manner, good people are not even aware of the good things that they are doing for the world. <clears throat> for us, small little things we do and what an arrogance and ego. We want ATG. Like we have got Parleji, Banerji, Chatterji, Mukherji, ATG. Because I have done something. Therefore, tavat tava suksha drushtehe nijananda anumiyate. <coughs> then we will be able to slowly infer that when you remain indifferent, then the nijananda, the brahmananda is slowly revealed. Now be attentive. When you take this as your practice, let there be anything happening around us. But we must not lose our cool. See, like in this session only. First day, we were clubbed into a small room. Yesterday, there was nothing available. Mic and nothing. This happens. But if we start reacting, getting frustrated, then your whole spiritual practice has gone to dogs. Then how can we practice this? The rule I have given you, very simple rule. We have no right on anybody in this world. Right of your rights. You can never, never get disturbed. That is Udasirana. And then one day by God's grace, it clicks. That whenever I become disturbed, I am the one who suffers, not anybody else. And when others don't suffer because of our anger, we become more miserable. Dekho, sab has rahe, me gusa kar rahe, who told you? Recognize this. Therefore, after 
निजानंद अनुमीयते इन सर्वात्मना विस्मृत सन सूक्ष्मता परमाम व्रजे अलीन निद्रेशा तथो देह भी नोपते वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक सर्वात्मना विस्मृत सन when one has as if completely forgotten is being somebody like the flower never imagines it to be someone extraordinary than other flowers therefore real spiritual practice is we don't have to become extraordinary remain ordinary drop the extra including the fat drop it and when you are not extra extraordinary you can never get insulted remain ordinary ram charit manas tells may sevaka sacharachara rupa swami bhagavanta when you remain as a servant servant never gets insulted boss gets insulted therefore here sarvatmana sarvatmana vismruta asan when we are thus completely negated this i i then sukshmatam paramam rajet then the mind slowly become so subtle completely dissolving in be attentive dissolving in consciousness now here these two things remember what is jiva jiva is paramatma reality vidyanamaya kosha the media where paramatma is reflecting at the chidabhas now when the sleep happens like many people when they sit for meditation they doze off that time what is happening that time the um, mind vidyana may kosha it enters the ananda may kosha goes to sleep and here the teacher says if the vidyana may kosha doesn't go to the ananda may kosha doesn't go to sleep then what happens to the reflected consciousness in the thought without the thought there cannot be reflection when the thought is totally dissolved what happens to reflection reflection goes back to consciousness and therefore if we are practicing proper meditation we will neither go to sleep nor the body will fall down therefore when we are sitting for meditation observe this your breathing will be extremely slow and extremely shallow and if the breathing becomes deep then you are likely to enter the sleep if the breathing becomes fast you are likely to get identified with the body but when both these things the speed of breathing and the depth of breathing is extremely slow and shallow and shallow then the chidabhasa is merging in the pure consciousness and thereafter like this particular stand is standing undisturbed in the same manner the body sits quiet without falling or without going to sleep then in that case the jiva has merged in the pure consciousness so alinatvatna nidra esha because there is no merging in the anandamay kosha there is not a sleep tato deho pinopate and therefore the body also doesn't fall na dvaitam bhasate kwapi nidra tasya तत्रातिसुगम स ब्रह्मानंदित्या भगवान अर्जुनं प्रति न द्वैतं भासते नित्नापि 
देर इज नो परसेप्शन ऑफ द ड्यूएलिटी न अपी निद्रा बट देर इज नो स्लीप ऑल्सो वी एक्सपीरियंस द एबसेंस ऑफ ड्यूएलिटी ओनली इन द डीप स्लीप इन द ड्रीम एंड इन द वेकिंग ड्यूएलिटी इज एक्सपीरियंस सो दिस एक्सपीरियंस वेयर ड्यूएलिटी इज नॉट एक्सपीरियंस बट देर इज नो स्लीप देर फोर न द्वैतम भाषते नापी निद्रा पी तत्री यद सुखम दैट ब्लिस दैट हैपीनेस स ब्रह्मानंद दिस इज कॉल्ड एज ब्रह्मानंद whenever we experience duality number 1 number 2 if we take the duality as real number 3 samsara begins now the other way around we experience the duality but we don't take the duality as real samsara doesn't get start like we stand in front of the mirror there is the duality i am the seer reflection is seen but we don't take it real therefore no samsara but when a bird looks into the mirror he also sees the duality he takes it real and the samsara begins so what is brahmananda when a man stands in front of the mirror that experience is brahmananda when a bird stands in front of the mirror that is samsara See friends. Therefore, we may function in the real, in the duality of this world, but we don't lose our identity as the non-dual being. And how it can be achieved? Only by the simple thing, as we are not influenced by the quality of the reflection in the mirror. If the mirror breaks, reflection appears to be breaking. but we know we are not breaking if the mirror is covered with the dust reflection will be very um, very um, not distinct very unclear we don't think there is some dust on our face no it is there in this manner when we live in this world in the duality but do not get influenced by this experience of duality and therefore abiding in our non dual self all the time this is what bhagwan sri krishna told arjun now what is told <coughs> for next nine verses bhagavad gita is quoted <coughs> this start from the sixth chapter shane shane uparame बुद्ध्या धृतगृहतया आत्मसंस्थ मन कृत्वा न किंचिदिचित यो यो निश्चरती मनश्चलम स्थिर ततस्तो नियमेत आत्मन वशम नए फर्स्ट शन शन उपरमे स्टार्ट युअर स्पिरिचुअल प्रैक्टिस डोंट सडनली बिगेन नो आई विल नॉट टेक फूड फॉर वन मंथ भगवान क्लियर डिटेल्स युक्ताहार विहार से युक्त चेष्ट से कर्मसु युक्त सपनावबोध से योगो भवति दुखा एक्सट्रीमिज्म इज इजी बट मेंटेनिंग द बैलेंस इज डिफिकल्ट नॉट टू ईट एट ऑल इज नॉट डिफिकल्ट कीप ऑन ईटिंग ऑल द टाइम इज आवर प्रैक्टिस रियल स्पिरिचुअल प्रैक्टिस इज यू हैव lovely food in front of you you are choice and yet you take only little but when the one dabha as if this is the last supper see yukta har similarly talking is necessary but not talk 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 non stop talking 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 whether somebody wants or not yukta har vihar similarly <coughs> running for the marathon 41 miles and there after 41 days in the hospital who told you all the rubbish <coughs> life must have a perfect balance 
शनि शनि ऊपर में बुद्धिया धृत गृहतया विथ प्रॉपर अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड धृत गृहतया हैव पेशेंस ऑलवेज रिमेम्बर शिरडी साई बाबा टू थिंग्स श्रद्धा एंड सबोरी श्रद्धा इज देवी एंड सबोरी इज शिवा शिव शक्ति इन रामचरित मानस दिस थॉट कम्स देर फॉर वाइफ इज शक्ति एंड हजबेंड इज सहन शक्ति He has to, or else he can't survive. Therefore, after dhruti grihitaya, then atma samstam manakrutva, then let the mind be brought back to yourself. Now, how to bring the mind back to ourself? Learn what we have just now understood. Remain indifferent. Practice audasinya. We have to learn to remain indifferent. You must have seen most of the families. It happens when two persons are talking on something, whatever maybe they are talking. Only like me will go. Kya bol rahe the ham? It was about you. Why do you poke your nose? We don't have to get involved anywhere unless you are invited. Then, atma sausta manakrutva. Let us focus on ourselves, and for that, if it is not happening, take a mala in the hand and keep busy. Tie down yourself till such time the mala is in the hand. I am not going to talk to anybody. Afterward, dum dada ka. Then the manakrutva, na kinchi na bi chintaye. I will leave everything aside. Then yato yato nishcharati manas chanchala vastiram. as and when the unsteady and constantly moving mind is nishchrati goes here and there tato tato niyam meta again bring it back again bring it back so this is the best i can tell you in chanting the lord's name this is the technique the technique is chant for one minute slowly no dissimilar thought should enter in between om namah shivaya 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 no dissimilar thought is allowed to intercept in between try one minute after we become firmly rooted in this practice then make it two minutes shanai shanai slowly and steadily it will not happen overnight so yato yato nischarati manas chanchalam astiram tatas tato niyam metad आत्मनि एव वशम नये देन द माइंड इज ब्रॉट अंडर अवर कंट्रोल देन प्रशांत मन संहीनम योगिनम सुखम उत्तमम उपैति शांत रसम ब्रह्म भूतम कल्पशम नाउ प्रशांत मन संहीनम योगिनम दिस योगी नाउ हु हैज बीन प्रैक्टिसिंग लाइक दिस ही इज प्रशांत मन सम ही इज एवर केयरफुल रिलैक्स्ड Prashanta means what? There are three words: shanti, ashanti, and prashanti. The one which is opposite to the shanti is ashanti. The one which is opposite to the ashanti uh, is shanti. Then there is third: prashanti. Prashanti does not increase because of the shanti, and doesn't decrease because of the ashanti. प्रशांति प्रशांत मनसम येनम योगिनम व्हाट शुड बी योर प्रैक्टिस प्रैक्टिस इज ओनली दिस डू नॉट गेट डिस्टर्ब ऑन एनी काउंट एंड नेवर जस्टिफाई दैट यू आर डिस्टर्ब द थिंग शुड जस्टिफाई यू आर मिजरेबल 
nothing justifies you are angry. The moment we justify the wrong doings, we don't want to change. Suppose I justify. See, unless you become angry, people don't work. So your interest is in the work, not in your peace of mind. Then you are not a seeker. A seeker's concern is only his peace of mind. This world has always been like this. It's nothing new. But we become so involved and so disturbed and then whole night and day gone. So, enam prashanta manasam yoginam uttamam sukham upayati. He experiences or the uttamam sukham. So, there are three sukhas we told you. Tamasik, Rajasik and Sattvik. So, Uttam Sukham Upayati. And what is that Uttam Sukham? Shanta Rajasam. It is not the Sukham of enjoying the Garam Garam Pakoda and suffering afterwards. No. Shanta Rajasam. It is the bliss of being. Not becoming enjoyer or sufferer. Shanta Rajasam. And Brahma Bhutam Akalmasham. And there is no trace of Tamoguna, the laziness. See friends, this is the Sattvic Sukham. Neither it is Tamasic Sukham, nor it is Radisic Sukham. But it is Uttamam, um, Uttamam Sukham Upayati. Now, after this, Yatro Paramate Chitram Niruddham Ved Yoga Sevaya Yatra Jaivatman Atmanam Pashan Atmani Tushati Yatra Niruddham Chitram Uparamate now this mind, Chittam, is Niruddham, is the under complete control by what? Yoga Sevaya. So one has to practice it again and again, again and again. Do not practice in one go, two hours. No. Practice during the whole day, each time five minutes. Slowly, slowly develop the stamina. And then 5 minutes will become 10 minutes, 10 minutes will become 15 minutes, slowly, there is no hurry. It is not a time bound program. So, Yatru Paramate Chittam Niruddham Yoga Sevaya, Yatra Chayvat Panat Manam Pashan Atmani Tushati. And then one thus comes back to oneself. So, Atmanam Atmani Pashan. Then there is no sense of otherness. There is only but I. And this I is thought-free I. I as a man is a thought I. I as a husband is a thought I. I as a successful person a thought I. Pure I has no thoughts. Therefore, this I is called in Sanskrit that Aham. Aham means no. Shoka, Ashoka. Similarly, Aum is not. Hum is what? Ananam, destruction. That which cannot be destroyed is Aum. It's a very subtle point. I as Paramatma cannot be destroyed. I as a Jivatma also cannot be destroyed. Because Jivatma is not a reality. If the moon is reflected in a pond and you want to have that, so you take a sieve and try to take out the moon from the pond, will it come out? And if the pond dries away, has the reflection of the moon died away? No. Exactly the same way. Whether you take aham as a jiva or you take aham as a paramatma, in both the cases there is no possibility of death. So, I as the Jiva never die. I as the Paramatma never die. This freedom from the fear of death is Brahmananda. So, Yatra Jayavatma Atmanam Pashan Atmani Tushati Then, Sukham Atyantikam Yatat Buddhi Grayam Atindriyam Vetti Yatra Nachayavayam Sitas Charaji Tattvata Now, this bliss that is being spoken of is what? Sukham Atyantikam Yatat this is the ultimate bliss. 
how it is buddhi grahyam atindriyam it can be experienced but no need of any instrument of knowledge and vetti yatra cha avaya ayam sitas charati na tat tatvata and once we are abiding in this divine self the blissful one na chalati then there is no again falling back like once we learn how to balance on a bicycle thereafter we don't have to learn again it is eternal so vetti yatra na chaivayam siddhas charati tatvata then bhagwan said yam labdhva chaparam labham manyate nadhikam tata asmin sthito na dukkena guru na api vichalyate yasmin yan labdhva na aparam labham manyate adhikam tata once he has discovered the bliss that he is thereafter there is nothing more that can be achieved in this world because whatever we do or whatever we don't do all these things are aimed at only one thing that we are seeking happiness we get married for happiness we get divorced for happiness we eat food for happiness we observe fast for happiness we keep on sleeping in the bed up to 10 o'clock for happiness we get up early morning start running to reach nowhere for happiness in short all the activities of our life involvement or withdrawal is only seeking happiness here the teacher says you don't have to seek happiness thereafter you have discovered happiness so jasmin sita having abided in this absolute blissful self guruna api dukhe na na vichalyate here guruna means any heavy misery befalls on one na vichalyate he never becomes miserable means what miseries will come miseries will be experienced but a miserable entity will not be born like when the mirror breaks the reflection appears to be broken but the man knows i am intact this is that divine bliss tam vidya dukha sanyoga vyogam yoga sanditam sanishchena yoktavyah yoga anirvinna chetasa this is most beautiful definition of yoga tam vidya dukha sanyoga vyogam yoga sanditam when the misery is coming in our life and we refuse to be miserable this is the meaning of yoga nothing to do with any asana or pranayam so miseries do come but you don't become miserable then how to practice this nishchena yoktavya you make it very firm to yourself let any misery come but refuse to be miserable okay. and this can happen when we have practiced for sufficient way sincerely do not react for good or bad in this world otherwise how oh, how beautiful how beautiful why so does it constantly going kai 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 remain cool we don't have to do anything but many times it happens as if we are doing some great to the society to the world that is not living in the truth therefore sa nischayena yoktavyah yoga anirvinna chetasa this is the yoga how to practice anirvinna chetasa don't give up slowly steadily and therefore more the miseries come in your life and more time you refuse to be miserable you are having a good practice of yoga if there are no miseries at all you cannot practice yoga <laughs> then our condition is like what like a person who claims i never have had a dot on my driving license why because you never drove in the same manner i am always happy because you have no chance to become miserable 
the let the miseries come but we refuse to be miserable this is what exactly is the yoga yunjanevam sadatmanam yogi vigata kalmasha sukhena brahma sansparashan atyantam sukamashrute evam in this manner yunjan engaging oneself sada atmanam all the time the yogi vigata kalmasha removes all the wrong notions about himself about the world about god about spiritual practice and sukhena brahma sansparsham atyantam sukamashnute and he merges in the blissful being and thereafter the bliss alone oozes out of him in other words he is an embodiment of bliss like today we are the embodiment of blisters he is the embodiment of bliss nothing in this world will ever touch him atyantam sukamashrute now the question comes how long we will have to practice this we'll tell you tomorrow go and sleep om purnamadaha purnamidam purnaha purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnamevavashishyate om shanti 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 hari om shri gurubhyo namaha hari om